Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I had someone asking me again how I mark my basket bottoms. So I used to measure them all out and mark them. Now I just kind of eyeball it. My husband used to have a little tool that you can measure whatever you wanted on it and it would stay stationary. And I'd follow it all along and mark it. It's too much work. So I know what a quarter of an inch is. I try to do all of my basket bottoms about a quarter of an inch apart on the holes. So this is what about a quarter of an inch looks like. Now, if it's a different type of bottom that necessarily you don't need them that close together, these are a little bit further apart, about half an inch. because I know there's gonna be enough stability with this amount of holes. So I don't count the holes, I just eyeball it now and mark them. So I use a Sharpie permanent marker. I've tried other markers. You can't use a dry erase marker because then when you touch it and you're drilling it, it marks it off. So these, are, these stay on long enough and they don't smear that you can get them drilled. Now when you get ready to take them off, you can use nail polish remover. Just get a little piece of cotton or paper towel or something and use nail polish remover to take it off. So I mark a bunch, I drill a bunch, and then I clean them all off with either alcohol or nail polish remover. So here we go. These are gonna be a different bottom. They're not gonna be a half inch apart because I have a different idea of what I'm gonna do with them but I'll just show you. So I kind of eyeball it. I know I want one in each tip of the flowers. And this is a large marker, but it's fine chisel point. So you just need a little black dot. I just kind of eyeball it right in the middle. And I'm going fast, but I'm gonna double check it. So I'm about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Now you can drill closer if you want, but I don't take any chances on my drilling. I, especially if you're doing agate slices. So I just want the hills, the holes drilled very close to the edge. Now see, this isn't gonna smear. You could touch it right now, it dries really quick. Other types of markers smear. So that's what I want for this. Now I'll hold it back and I'll look at it and see if anything's off. If anything's off to my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and start over. So here's just a regular round bottom that I started drilling and I did it, or I'm sorry, that I started marking and I did it freehand as well. So I'm doing it from this backside because it's clear and you can see clear. You wanna be able to see through. So I'm just going about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And you see I have a, um, a cloth underneath. It's like a little jewelry cloth that I use when I'm doing beading. I do that so that I could see clear through and see, just get a better eyeball view of it. So I just sit and mark them all. I'll mark a whole group of them. I drill in groups, I resin in groups and I mark in groups. Because if you're pulling the equipment out to do stuff, you know, you might as well do a bunch of them. So see, it's all marked. Then when I go outside to drill, I can just use my drill press and pull down. So now here's a little small hamza hand I did. So this is a small basket. I'm not worried about it being attached a lot of places. So I'll probably go about a half inch, just eyeballing it. And I'm going about a quarter of an inch away from the outside, but you could do it how you feel comfortable. Um, you have to be aware 
when you have something that's this close to the edge, you got to go pretty slow drilling because you don't want to hit the, this is the clay bottom, and you don't want to hit what's in the center. And again, with agates, you have to be very careful because it could crack. Okay, thanks for watching. So say if you don't like the way this was marked, you've eyeballed it and you see something's off or you decide you want to make the holes closer together, further apart, whatever. You just don't like it, so you want to remove it. Take the polish remover on a rag. Just want to show you how this works. Takes it right off, just like that. So after you've drilled, you might have a little remnant of the marker on it. And you can go back and just take it off that way with the polish remover. So pretty much any surface takes it right off. But look how quick it dries. It's not smearing. I've used some other markers and it just doesn't work well. So hope that helps. Can't wait to get these drilled, but I don't have time right now. So I hope you like this little video and I hope it helps. I'm looking forward to making more for you. Make sure to subscribe and like. Thanks a lot. Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I am just going to show you how I drill. I use this drill press. I was doing it with a hand drill. This is much easier. My husband got me this. And um, so all our bottoms were marked. Now make sure... that everything's very secure before you start. You you wanna make sure that this isn't, when you start it, it's coming straight up and down. It's not wobbling sideways or you're gonna mess up your bottoms. So um, the other thing is wear a mask, wear glasses or goggles to protect. I wear an apron over. Uh, sometimes I wear gloves. Today I'm not, because I'm not drilling that much. I'm just gonna do a little bit. A lot of times I wear gloves. It just kind of keeps all that dust off. Now, uh, the resin I use is art resin. It's non-toxic, so it doesn't have a really bad smell or anything. So we're just going to go ahead and line up the drill with each of these marks. Now, they're dark enough you could see them. I put a white background behind so I can really see them. It helps. This one needs to be changed. I haven't changed it for a while. But I just put a little foam mat in there. And then you just go to town drilling. Line it up, go straight down in. Mine are about a quarter of an inch apart, the holes are. Just gonna go around a little bit. And then when I'm done, I have a little catch-all here and I brush everything off and you get clean holes. So I've got a few more to do. I think that I'll just go ahead and do them since my hands are all dirty already. Thanks for watching. Okay, I finished drilling all of my basket bottoms. I usually do it in groups because I get dirty and I get tired of standing there. I take breaks here and there. So it looks easy, but it does take a little time. So dust yourself off outside, clean your hands, wash your hands. I take a wet cloth and wipe them all down before I bring them inside because they do have a lot of dust. And um, I end up usually taking a shower after I do this just because I feel like it's all over me. So I want to say hold your bottom secure when you're drilling because you don't want it flipping around. Make sure that it's totally dry, the resin is totally dry because if you start drilling and it's a little gummy, it's going to gum up your drill. Um, practice drilling on some that you don't care too much about in case you crack it or um, you drill crooked or something like that. Now this one, the drills are 
pretty close to the center. So I was careful when I went in to make sure I didn't go out the side or anything like that. Uh, if it's a bigger piece, it's not as big as a worry. But when your center's really close and the resin's really close, you gotta go really slow and make sure you don't crack anything. I've cracked several agates that way. Um, be sure the resin is dry. Make sure you clean everything up. And I'll just show you what I do next. So I've wiped them down with a damp cloth just to get the resin remnants off the, you know, all of the uh, splatter. So there's a little bit of black just on some of these um, from the black marker we used. So I just go around and just lightly clean it all off and double check that I've not missed a hole because sometimes if you try to go too fast, you just miss a hole. But see, then that cleans it right up. There's no black showing. Check to make sure everything's looking good. Now this one's a little different. When I started looking at it straight up and down, I could see I was off a little bit. So I just kind of gauged where I wanted to move them to. But that's no problem. We're just gonna come and clean off all these little black marks and it'll be nice and pretty. Now the other thing when you're drilling something that's two layers or two ply, you gotta go back and check that the drill didn't split it. This one adhered very well. So there, we've got all the black marks off. Check the holes. This one I've checked and it adhered very well. I've had it before when you've got two ply where it splits it and then it throws all the dust in there and that's hard to get out. I blew some out one time and then re-resined part of it, but it's just not perfect and I kind of like to have them as close to perfect as I can. But this one did really well. It didn't split anything, cleaned up nice and easy. So I'm just gonna keep going and uh, clean these off. They're still a little wet because I wiped them down but I wanna get all the little black marks off. You know, if you do leave some, like it gets down inside the drilling, you're not gonna notice it once you put your thread over, but I just clean them up as best I can. Thanks for watching. Happy drilling, hope you have fun. Just practice. The more practice, the more ideas you're gonna get, you're gonna understand what you should and shouldn't do. Uh, make sure to have a good time and make some beautiful bottoms. Thanks for watching.